The source is love. Okay. That's what it is. Welcome to Liberate University. Namaste, dear friends. Welcome to this uh, uplifting video tutorial where we're going to show you how to chant to connect with the universal Christ consciousness. All right. So the chant that we're going to do is called Cloud Color Christ, and it's a cosmic chant by Paramahansa Yogananda. Very powerful. Uh, to help us connect with this great universal Christ consciousness vibration energy that is the source of all love, the source of all joy, of all peace, of all wisdom, of all bliss. Okay, so we want to feel the Christ consciousness as a cosmic power, a cosmic vibration, a cosmic love that it's already inherent within us. So this way we can manifest these, all these divine qualities from the Christ consciousness. And in this way, we can permeate all of this divine love throughout the whole world, throughout the, the whole universe. Okay, so the words are very simple. Cloud, color, Christ, come. Oh my Christ, oh my Christ, Jesus Christ, come. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is just get on the right meditation posture, okay, which is a very simple. We need to have a straight spine, okay, very straight spine. Then we rest our palms on our thighs close to the abdomen. And very importantly, we place our gaze right here on the spiritual eye. This is the Christ consciousness center in the body, which is the, the center of spiritual perception. And we just place the gaze right there calmly in a relaxed manner. We don't need to strain. And from this center, we chant with devotion. And so we want to feel the love building, percolating in our hearts, right? And so in this way, also our bodies and minds become calm so that we can feel this devotion, this love flowing. And after the chant, this is when we enter into states of demeditation where we can just keep chanting mentally or we can just place um, we can keep our gaze there and just feel the stillness of meditation or we can just talk to spirit in the language of our hearts okay so we'll do that and then we'll close with um, brief affirmation that's also going to help us keep connecting with the Christ consciousness okay so let us now just open with a brief prayer Heavenly Father, Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus, All Saints, we bow to you all. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ Consciousness. Christ and I are one, joy and I are one, peace and I are one, wisdom and I are one, love and I are one, bliss and I are one, Christ and I are one. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Merry Christ So now, you can keep chanting mentally, with our gaze focused at the Christ Consciousness Center, going between the eyebrows. We can just remain there very, very still, and feeling the peace, the joy, the love and the wisdom of the Christ Consciousness permeating the whole creation. So let us now spend a brief moment of deep meditation.
now we'll cr close with an affirmation to help us keep connected to the great universal Christ consciousness. We'll practice it loudly a few times, then softly, and then we'll whisper it, and then we can practice mentally together. So please repeat after me. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ's consciousness. Christ and I are one. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Love and I are one. Christ and I are one. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ's consciousness. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Love and I are one. Bliss and I are one. Christ and I are one. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ's consciousness. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Love and I are one. Bliss and I are one. Christ and I are one. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ's consciousness. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Love and I are one. Bliss and I are one. Christ and I are one. Now keep repeating mentally.
Let us close with a prayer from our hearts. Heavenly Father, Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, All Saints, we bow to you all. Heavenly Father, awaken me in Christ consciousness. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Love and I are one. Bliss and I are one. Christ and I are one. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for being a part of this class. We hope to see you at the next one. Okay, well, uh, my name is Rebecca. Hi, I'm Reverend Doreen. Hi, my name is Travis. My name is Kimberly. My name is Lily, and I'm an energy healer at Liberate Hollywood. I really believe that everything is transmutable and everything is possible. I believe that we are swimming in a sea of energy and um, that this energy is love, even though I know a lot of the time it doesn't always feel like that. And I do pranic healing, which is energy. I'm a Reiki master, more energy. So what am I? I am a channel for energy to come through me to help you. There really isn't anything that you would need to do to prepare for a session other than be comfortable. The whole goal of the session is to provide you with a warm, comforting, soul and heart-centered environment from which to allow healing to occur. No, no, just come as you are. Always just come as you are. Uh, that's my job as a healer, to meet you where you are, to figure out what you need, um, and to give that to you, or to guide you also. Um, I'm so honored to be a guide in helping you to connect. To help re-energize you, heal you, change your programming so that you're no longer in your way of getting to the things that you desire in your life. My objective, working with clients, I guess would be to help them connect to their divine self uh, so that they can facilitate their spiritual journey and their soul's path. In all forms of energy healing, regardless of what the practitioner says, it is up to the client to change their life. As a practitioner, we're serving as a channel or as, a, as an instrument for God to do the work, but it is up to the client to, to make better choices. I'm most passionate, I think, about being able to create a loving, supportive, and heart and soul-centered environment for clients to heal. I get really excited when I have a new client who's never experienced energy work before, and they tend to say that they were drawn or magnetized into the store, and they don't exactly know why or what for and it's a it's an opportunity to introduce them to the divine and i think it's a really beautiful thing to have that moment of awareness and that they're in that space of surrender because they don't have any expectations and they really get to see what it feels like to be a spiritual being once you activate that place within yourself uh, it's powerful and it feels so good. It's very healthy for the body. I think it realigns all of your energy. Um, it connects you to source, uh, both within you and outside of you. It's really cool. It's such an honor and a privilege to be in the space where a moment happens and people have this awareness about who they are or they're able to grieve over something they may not have been able to before or they are able to see themselves for who they truly are in a more empowered and soul-centered way. But I'm trying to give you the tools so that when you leave, you feel, you feel connected.
come with an open mind, come with uh, humor in your heart and, and we'll get you on the right path for you. You'll learn more about yourself. You'll let go of things that might be holding you back in your life and you'll feel more empowered about your decisions. I hope to see you soon. So expect change, radical change. <laughs> I laugh, but it's true. Thank you. And I wish you love, peace and higher consciousness.